Hi, it's Dale. Just wanted to teach you how to print your own fabric, which is especially helpful if you want to um, do something on the computer uh, with some graphics or whatnot and print it on a label for the back of your quilt. Anyhow, it's super simple. Let me show you how to do it. First of all, uh, you need fabric that is cut, just any plain white fabric that is cut uh, to the size of a piece of printer paper. So that's eight and a half by 11. All right, just plain regular white cotton fabric. Uh, and then you need freezer paper, which is cut to the same size. If you're gonna err on the side of one direction or the other, make the freezer paper exactly eight and a half by 11, and then maybe make the, um, the fabric just a little bit smaller. And I'll show you why when we get to that step. Then uh, what you need is this special solution. It's called Bubble Jet Set 2000. And I get it from Dharma Trading Company. That's D-H-A-R-M-A -A, Trading Company. Um, the website is uh, dharmatrading.com. And so the first step is to take your fabric and soak it in the solution. Now you can use this really sparingly. It just has to soak for a couple of minutes, uh, about five minutes, and then um, you have to let it dry. So let's do that now. Okay, so I have a flat pan. I have my fabric that's cut to just slightly under eight and a half by 11. I have the solution here and you just pour it over your fabric and let it sit for five minutes. You gotta make sure that you shake it up good. Open this up. So I've made a bunch of labels, one of which I have personalized here. You can see to Candace with love, mom. And so I am going to uh, just do a quick print test on paper. Uh, let's see, do not scale, print, just to make sure that they're the right size and that I'm happy with that. Okay, so here it is on paper. It looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, so I'm ready to print it actually on my fabric. And by the way, this is my other website, remembrancequilt.com. If you haven't visited that website, that's where you can actually order uh, custom-made quilts. We often will incorporate work from, um, you know, baby's clothes or uh, a deceased loved one that they want to, they're just not sure what to do with the clothes. We'll incorporate that into a quilt. So please, if you haven't visited that site, um, please do so. And then also you can find our Facebook page that way as well. Okay, so we are ready. We have our freezer paper that is cut to eight and a half by 11. And then we also have our fabric that has been dried with that solution on it so that uh, once we put our uh, inkjet print, uh, ink on it rather, that it will adhere to it permanently and not wash out. So what you do is take your freezer paper, put it waxy side up, because what we are going to be doing is melting that wax into the fabric. So hold that down, get it squared up the best you can, and start with this leading edge that's going to be heading into the printer first. Really important that of all of the areas that you get this edge adhered to the freezer paper the best. So that means you want a really hot iron. These irons are great by the way. This one is by Clover. Uh, it's just a little craft iron. I like it because it has a sharp edge and so you can really press through, make sure that all the bubbles are out and it also gets super super hot. So just go through and then start working your way down, melting that wax onto the fabric and I will actually go through and spend quite a bit of time doing this. Um, you, you can't overdo this really. I mean don't burn your fabric but at the same time that wax has to be really melted into the fabric so that when it runs through the inkjet printer it goes together as one piece of paper. Again the most important edge to pay attention to 
is the edge that's going to be leading into the printer because if the fabric starts to come away from the freezer paper, you're going to have a really ugly paper jam of fabric and wax paper and a bunch of mess. So anyway, let's go through that and get that done. Okay, so this is done. It is like one sheet of paper. The fabric is very much adhered to the freezer paper. Um, however, when you're dealing with this fabric because it was wet when you were ironing, it may twist a little bit. So you might want to go back through and just measure it and make sure that you're going to have it, it again. If you're going to air on one side, make it just a little bit under 8.5 by 11 so that when it goes through the printer that there's no issues. Uh, make sure that it's squared up. I don't know if you can see this, but this kind of this corner right here kind of stretched out a little bit on me. So I'm going to go through and chop that off. So I know that on my printer, I have to put the fabric side down and that it's going to print on the fabric that way. You might want to run a test. Just take a piece of paper and write uh, print on it on one side, just so you know which side it's actually going to end up printing on um, before you run it through because you want to print on the fabric side. All right, so this is ready to go. Let me just double check that, yeah. The one edge that I know I spent the most time on ironing down is going to head in first and then print this. All right, so there you go. It is printed on the fabric. It looks just like it did on my computer. And I'm going to let it dry for probably a good five minutes or so. But then all you do is you just peel it off of the freezer paper like this and then give it a good rinse. But let it dry first. Okay, so the ink is good and dry on my printed fabric. I peeled it apart from the wax paper and uh, the freezer paper rather. And then it is ready to rinse. They have this product that is bubble jet rinse. You can also get that at Dharma Trading uh, Company. And uh, basically just give it a quick rinse. This is just to get the excess um, ink off so that when you do run it through the washing machine that there's no um, no excess ink that's going to bleed onto your other work. So I just give it a quick rinse. Squeeze it out really good and then dry it. And that's it. You have successfully permanently printed on fabric. This is great for labels. This is what I do. I'll just go through it after this and cut them up and then fold them under a little bit, tack them on the back, uh, just a little hand stitching, and you're done. Hope that was helpful. Bye.